championship could be wrapped up here today. Evan Belford, your championship leader, 70 points ahead of O'Shea and Stuart Campbell will be looking to take the 2019 Series Championship. He will be starting second on the grid, just behind Bailey Stuart Campbell. Johnny Garness on bike number 57 will be in third ahead of Eddie O'Shea and fourth. James Cook will be heading off row number five. Ollie Walker will be sixth alongside him. Thomas Gomez on bike number 98 will be in fourth ahead of Owen Meller. Dylan Miller, the second of the Mellers, will be on the fifth row of the grid and ninth. And then running at the top ten is Carter Brown, Alfie Davidson next up and 11th ahead of Kyle Payne on bike number 25. Harrison McKay on bike number 61 is in 13th ahead of Harrison Crosby. Ryan Hitchcock is next up and 15th on bike number 43 ahead of Joe Fadiger. And running out the top 17, all of the runners and riders for the start of the mini GP 70s. First race of the weekend here at Tattershall, the final round of the 2019 Cool Fab Racing British Mini Bikes Championship. It's Jamie Woodcock. So, as the Raiders are lining up on the grid, here is Chris McCarthy to take you through the start. Looks like a problem, potentially. Well, almost for Carter Brown, but I believe it was solved. Well, this is the situation in Mini GP70. Evan Belford needs to finish in the top 10 to win the championship. Evan Belford starts from P2. A top 10 finish will be good enough to seal it in this race. But we still have a race on our hands. Bailey Stewart Campbell, Evan Belford, your front row. Johnny Garness and Eddie O'Shea just behind. James Cook and Ollie Walker are going to be on row number three. Thomas Gomez and Owen Meller, row four. Then it's going to be Dylan Meller and Carter Brown. Three more race wins to be taken this season in the Mini GP70. Everyone will be desperate to get at least one more under their belts before we finish the 2019 season. Who's going to take the first of them this weekend? Bailey Stewart Campbell and Evan Belford, the champion elect. The green flag is about to be waved and then we're going to go racing for the first time this weekend at Tattershall in the Mini GP70. Bailey Stewart Campbell, Evan Belford, your front row. Who's going to make it to turn one first? Green flag goes up. And it's down, and we're away and racing, and a brilliant start from Evan Belford, but an even better start from Bailey Stewart Campbell, and he takes the race lead as we go through turn number one. So, Bailey Stewart Campbell from pole position, no problems through the first few corners. He leads us then as we make our way into the infield for the first time. Then it is Evan Belford in second place, Johnny Garness in third place in the early stages of this one. I think that's Eddie O'Shea potentially in fourth place. Everyone still circulating nice and safely as we come up towards the penultimate corner one more time. And Evan Belford, so far so good for him. A top ten finish and he wraps up the championship with two races to go. Across the line then, it's Bailey Stewart Gamble who leads the way as they complete lap number one. And second place is Evan Belford trying to chase him down. Great start from Bailey Stewart Campbell who had a bit of a crash and morning warm up and a bit of a high side coming out of one of the corners but we see that he's up and he's okay from that because he is leading this race. Evan Belford is doing everything he needs to do to wrap up the championship here today and what makes it even more impressive his championship charge is that he missed round number one at land out early in the season. We have a rider stop on the track coming out of turn number five. Not sure that is cross that is cross Crosby. Crosby. So Crosby stopped on the circuit there. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a bike issue or a rider issue, but he's looking down at the bike. But Harrison Crosby seems to be out of this race. But as they come across the line, starting lap at number three, Bailey Stewart Campbell, fastest lap of the race of 45.062. He was two tenths of a second quicker than Evan Belford last time around. Johnny Garness is starting to show his stature in this class, uh, sitting in third spot, putting Evan Belford under a bit of pressure. James Cook is showing a good, good form for the first time we've seen him in a while in a while but Carter Brown Carter Brown started down in 10th he's now in 5th so Carter Brown after a great race in the mini GP 50s is now showing how good he is in the 70s and charging through the field but Evan Belford your championship leader is doing everything he needs to if it stays the way it is he'll be in 410 points with Stuart Campbell 65 points further back that's all he needs to wrap up the championship here today O'Shea will be 15 points further back 
then Stuart Campbell and then James Cook sitting on 3.03. So, with 50 points to play for tomorrow and a 65-point championship lead going into tomorrow's event, but that means that Evan Belford will not be able to be caught by either Stuart Campbell or Eddie O'Shea. Well, coming into this race, Eddie O'Shea and Stuart Campbell were tied on points. Eddie O'Shea classified further ahead due to the fact that he has won two more races, four in total, that is for O'Shea. But with Eddie O'Shea down in sixth place and only scoring 10 points at the moment, Stuart Campbell in first with 25. The gap is now 15 points between them. So Eddie O'Shea has work to do, and he started that by going past Carter Brown He's into fifth place now. That'll give him a further two points. So it'll bring it down to a 13-point gap. Uh, but can he make some more places? He's just behind James Cook at the moment and already applying significant pressure. So it's not been a good start to the race for Eddie O'Shea, but he still has eight and a half laps to try and uh, repair any damage that was done in those opening stages. Belford is one second behind Stuart Campbell. Just needs to stay where he is. I think he'll take second place. Absolutely no problem. Garness 1.2 seconds back, so he's holding his grid slot. And down towards turn number one, the 114 of O'Shea is going to put one down the inside there of James Cook. A nice move there from uh, Eddie O'Shea done on the brakes over the bump. It's not an easy one to get right, but uh, Eddie O'Shea executed that perfectly. And now he goes up to fourth place. So that will give him 13 points and it will reduce the gap to 12 points uh, between himself and Bailey Stewart Campbell. We'll get the live points uh, for you so you can have a look at uh, Evan Belford. 410 points is good enough for him to be champion. Then we have uh, Stuart Campbell uh, in second place. Uh, Eddie O'Shea uh, is third place in the standings and then that is James Cook. But uh, the points, of course, changed on the last lap, so we'll get a further update for you so you can see exactly the situation. But uh, away from the championship, let's get to the race because the, we've had some changes. Ollie Walker has gone past Thomas Gomez for eighth. Hitchcock and Davidson both past Dylan Meller. So your top ten is Stuart Campbell, Belford, Garness, O'Shea, Cook, Meller, Brown, Walker, Gomez and Hitchcock. Lee. It's one to point out how much of a commanding race Bill Stuart Campbell's putting in right now. I've been watching his last four laps. They've all been 44 nines. He just went and set a 44.8 set a fast lap of the race. And that lap round, he just set a 45.0. So not only is the fastest rate on track, is extremely consistent. And that is why he is leading this race. But Carter Brown's dropping that down the field a little bit. He's losing seventh place towards Ollie Walker. He's not done it yet. Lay on the brakes around the outside from Carter Brown. And Ollie Walker has to settle for eighth spot for the moment but a great scrap going on between Owen Meller, Carter Brown, Ollie Walker and Thomas Gomez for 6th, 7th, 8th and ninth position. Can I just say Eddie O'Shea, the only other rider to go sub 45 seconds in this race and he has now closed in Johnny Garness he's within 1 second of Garness as we speak so uh, Eddie O'Shea on a charge as Stuart Campbell completes that number seven, as does Evan Belford, and Eddie O'Shea is looking to the inside of Garness already, and his throw. Brilliant move. So Eddie O'Shea at turn number one has taken third place with the fastest lap of the race as well, a 44.7. So that's now 16 points to Eddie O'Shea. He'll be nine points back from Stuart Campbell in third place. Well, Eddie O'Shea, at the, if the flag were to fall now, does he have time to now go after Evan Belford, I wonder? With the way the lap times are looking at the moment, he does indeed. He's only 1.8 seconds back behind Evan Belford, but if it stays the way it is, just to remind you, Evan Belford will be the 2019 champion in the Mini GP70 class with Stuart Campbell and Eddie O'Shea second and third. So we'll give you a live point score with four laps remaining. A change for seventh, perhaps, from Ollie Walker. Ollie Walker later on the brakes up the inside of Carter Brown. He was already, he already passed Carter Brown. That was a move for sixth. He's up the inside into sixth spot for Ollie Walker. There's three and a half laps remaining of this race number one in the mini GP70 class. And looking at Eddie O'Shea, another new fastest lap. 
Last time around a 44.5. He's on fire right now. He was half a second quicker than Evan Belford, and he was eight tenths of a second quicker than Bailey Stewart Campbell. So Evan Belford will be coming under pressure from the 114 of Eddie O'Shea with two and a bit laps remaining. So we wait for him to come across the line. So we've got Evan Belford in second, but coming under under attack from the 114 of Eddie O'Shea. We've got a crash at the final corner. We, we've got a crash at the final corner. We've got one of the Mellers down, the 130. That's a big crash. He's waving his bike. So we've got a red flag. Owen Meller down at the final corner. Not sure what happened there between Owen Meller's two bikes down. That is Carter Brown as well has been tangled up in that. So the two blue bikes of Owen Meller and Carter Brown down at the final corner. The both bikes sitting on the banking. Hopefully both riders are okay. But frantically waving his hand was Owen Meller as he got back up. But um, the red flags have come out. Thankfully, there was three in, there was three laps remaining of that race. We will bring you an update as and when we get it on if we will get a restart to well, this race. I don't believe so, and I've, I believe, of course, the result goes back a lap, doesn't it? I'm not too sure if that's uh, uh, the rule. But uh, if that was the case, then I, I think though the two riders involved will hold the position that they had. Yes, we will I have to... I believe so, but... But, um, but yeah. just to remind you, if we don't start this race, that means the number 52 of Evan Belford will be the Mini GP70 champion of 2019. So the points are live now. He'll be on 410. So this is the provisional point standings for the moment. He will be on 410. Uh, 65 points ahead of Stuart Campbell and 345. Eddie O'Shea would be nine points further back than Stuart Campbell on 3.36 and James Cook would have dropped back to fourth spot on 3.01 so this is the provisional standings at the <laughs> moment we will find out if and when this is potential starting again the Raiders aren't sure we're not sure here so we will get more information when it happens but we've got to talk about that race Chris yeah. it was shaping up very nicely um, with Eddie O'Shea showing a lot of well a lot of speed towards the end catching Evan Belford uh, but I think Stuart Campbell's probably a bit too far ahead to potential of catch but some great scraps all the way down the field what was your standard from the race so far? Oh Eddie O'Shea 100% he uh, started in fourth and just didn't get a good start at all but uh, Eddie O'Shea grew into the race and set pace that no one else could get near he was doing his best lap of the race was a 44.5 uh, and then we had a 44.8 from Stuart Campbell. So he was three tenths quicker than anyone. And uh, I believe uh, it is now oh, yes. becoming official yeah, looks that like Evan it. Belford is our 2019 champion in the Mini GP70 class. And it looks like he is prepared for this moment in advance. He came in to, the the, to this round with a 70 point advantage. And it looks like he has a crash helmet that he has prepared for this moment. So while well, we can see that happening, we have to talk about Evan Belford. He's won what is the premier class in the Cool Fab Racing British Mini Bikes Championship, the official partner series of the British Superbikes and the Road to Moto GP as well. People who win this series go on to do very good things and Evan Belford is following in the footsteps of some very special riders, isn't he? Yes, indeed. We've had the likes of Scott Redding, Brad Ray, Strudwick, James Cook well, and Max Cook as well. So James Cook is Max Cook's little brother. We've had lots of people, Danny Kent as well, come through this series and Evan Belford. What makes this season even more impressive, is, as I've mentioned before, is that he missed round number one after breaking his collarbone in practice at Landown. And he's come back, he's won race after race, he's been the, the regular to beat, and he's uh, producing a burnout out there in the circuit. That's what we like to see, burning rubber, as he doesn't need those tyres for the rest of the season. But it's not the way you want to win it with a red flag, but nonetheless, he's put in all the effort throughout the entire season, and he is our deserved champion in the 2019 Cool Fab Racing British Mini Bikes Championship Series, the premier class of the Mini GP70s. So, got a couple of burnouts from Evan Belford and Johnny Garness as they made their way back into the pits. And <laughs> as, the, as the, the, the tires go up in smoke, the crowd are definitely getting a great scene out there on the circuit. I'm actually quite surprised how much smoke these Mini GP70s get to produce. So, Wearing it all the way down to the canvas. Brilliant scenes here at the final round of the 2019 Cool Fab Racing British Mini Bikes Championship at Tatashall. Chris, 
What what would be your potential standout of Evan Belford's season? It's hard. It's hard to pick one, isn't it? It's been uh, it's just been constant uh, pressure on the rest of the riders. Uh, you know, constant success. Uh, and uh, Evan Belford has won the championship. I think in a way that he would have dreamed to have won it in. Uh, it wasn't a last lap, you know, last corner thing, but it was more of a case of he was down. He was quite literally, he had a big incident on the first round and he came back and uh, fought back to, to win it from behind. And I, th I think that's how any rider would, would love to go and win, you know, from coming from behind like that with a deficit to then go and win with two races to go. You know, I, th I, don't, I don't think there's a, a real better way you can go and win a championship particularly at this level you know at mini gp70 they're they're on the brink of breaking into the biggest paddocks in the sport uh, and uh, evan belford he's going to have uh, all eyes on him i think from some pretty big manufacturers he will indeed. Evan Belford has been a superstar this season, as you would say. And, well, he's gone off towards the British Talent Cup in 2019, uh, in 2020, as many of them are. But Evan Belford gets to go up as the champion of the Premier Class of the Mini GP70s.